Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Grania and thank you for joining me. Today guys, I'm doing a four part video. The first part of my video, you'll see me cleaning my plant leaves, my Ikea greenhouse, and I'll be watering my plants. The second part of the video is a tour of Valley View Gardens. I went there to pick up some plants for myself and while there I did a quick tour to show you guys what they have in stock. The third part of my video is me cleaning my greenhouse, the one that's attached to my house. I hadn't given it a clean in a while so it really needed a good cleaning. The fourth part of my video, as it's Christmas guys, I decided to show you my Christmas decorations and my plants. Guys, if you could please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be amazing. Guys, I'm actually doing some evening chores. I've been trying to get around to this for the longest time. So I want to wash all my leaves. So I'm going to use this Castile soap with tea tree oil. So if there are any little bugs on there, the tea tree oil will act as an insecticide. So I have two bowls here. I have a bowl with the Castile soap and my leaves are, I would say, filthy. I haven't washed them in I don't know how long. So I'm just going to give all the leaves a quick rub and then I'll rub over them with plain water. And hopefully they will sparkle. In Monstera Peru. I actually love this plant and you can see it's climbing here. I will need to put a larger like a moss pole or something on it. Did I do these ones already? Um, but for now I just have this piece of bark and it seems happy enough. So I'm just gently wiping them. This is just a chenille cloth nice and soft. And like I say, the tea tree oil, if there was anything like spider mites on there, it would be a deterrent at least. I can't say it would kill them, but at least it would be a deterrent. Now I'm just going to take my clean cloth and I will go back over them. tonight in my living room and I'll work my way around. Tomorrow, guys, I'm going to be cleaning my um, greenhouse. So I've done my plant room and you've, hopefully you've seen that. If you haven't, go check it out. And um, what else have I got to do? So many things to do I, uh, that I, I want to get done. Um, oh, I need to do some watering as well, actually. I need to check. My greenhouse is going to need to be watered tomorrow. I do when I'm in there. Oh, Lordy. You don't want it. You don't want to be hanging up, do you? Um, when I'm in there and I see something is dry, I do water it. But I need to go check everything tomorrow. Um, I need to brush the floor. And I do have, because I was given a Mars Hydro Grow Light, I may take one of my shop lights and put it out in my um, greenhouse. Okay, Monster of Peru. Cleaned. You can see such a difference when you wash their leaves. It's incredible. This is my other Thai constellation, and can you see the variegation on that? I am so pleased with it. So there is another new leaf coming on that. I'm hoping it will be split. But this was my original plant, guys. So it came with I think it was three leaves. I always forget. And that 
or the one we just cleaned is a top cutting off of this plant. And I'd say this is very dusty because I haven't cleaned this in a while. It's good to clean them because it lets the sun get into the leaf better if there's no dust on it. I'm so pleased with it. So I'm hoping that that section there will be more variegated than the other. And then I will take that as a cutting and then I'll have another plant. Which is wonderful. There's another leaf coming up there as well.
Guys, I'm in my little greenhouse now. It's a tight space, so I find it kind of hard to video in here. But anyway, guys, first I have to say, if any of you saw a cooking video go up on my channel yesterday, I apologize. I put it on the wrong channel. I told you before, I have another channel called Gronia's Home and Kitchen. And I laughed yesterday when I went on and realized I had uploaded my pressure cooking video onto this channel. So anyway, if you happen to come across it, that's the reason. Okay guys, so I'm out in my greenhouse today and I need to tidy it. I am very lazy. At night time when I plug out my grow light, sometimes I just let the flex run. <laughs> just let it go. And of course it knocked over a plant, so the soil on the ground. And I just want to show you the plants that are in here and give it a little tidy. And then I actually have a lot of errands to do today. Okay guys, so this is a quick view of the plants. We have done videos on this before and I have shown you all the plants if you want to check that out. I do actually have a video that is called a tour of my greenhouse. Um, I think I added some extras. So I put my calatheas in here and also my begonia. Look at this beautiful begonia. I can't think of the name of it. It's, um, I put it up on the screen. And I told you guys that I had lost my orbifolia and it's coming back. So I'm really pleased. It seems to be loving it out here because the humidity is great. So here you can see what has happened. Um, it needs a good brushing and cleaning. You can see there's lots of soil there on that little shelf as well. And um, it just, I actually had to water them last night because I was, I was putting off the watering because I was going to do it for my video. But I actually had to water them last night because some of my plants were looking very sad. So there is my recovered Christmas cactus. My beautiful Hoya Sarawak. Can you see it? This is the problem. I put it up like this. I don't know what you guys see. So my beautiful Sarawak. And my beautiful Siso Discolor. Oh, how gorgeous. And here is my magnificent living wall. Kaylee Allen is only trotting after me. <laughs> And actually, the reason I had to water last night was because this, I think it's a moss, was looking so sad. So I, had, I ended up giving everything a watering. Look at my Peperomia Hope, how well she's doing. And also my string of hearts. They're both loving it here. There is my Hoya Sunrise, and it is growing great. It's just not re um, getting red. But I, as I say, said to you before, I think in the summer when the sun is warmer, when the sun is brighter, I should say, it should make a difference. And there are my little suckies. So, what did I find on my succulents? So if you remember from my last video, I had flower stalks and I, there were uh, mealybugs on my flower stalks. I nearly had a heart attack, but I have had a look and I can't see them anywhere else. Luckily, the flower stalk was huge. Oh, I'm standing in front of my heater. There's three Monstera dubia. One is going to go up the wall, as I said before, and the other two I will probably sell in the spring. Oops. So, oh, there's my, um, <clears throat> there's my philodendron mycans coming back. So if you recall, I said I cut it right down because it wasn't looking great and I have tons of cuttings. Now I do have a beautiful big one up in my bathroom, but um, it is doing well. So I'm going to clean in here and wash the floor and then I have errands to do. I hope you'll be able to see more than my bum. So let me, <laughs> let me move some stuff out of the way. Oh shoot, I just stabbed myself with my agave. Okay, so I'm going to move everything. Can you see anything other than me? <laughs> I guess I'll see when I'm, I'm editing, I'll know exactly what you guys can see. Okay, so I knocked this pot over. Put out my little wheelbarrow that my daughter brought me. Actually, let me get in here and brush.
these are actually, I made these out of a Dollarama coffee pod thing and a, a pizza stone, but it's not the steadiest, that's the only thing, so you've got to be careful. But it works to give it a little bit of height. Thank you. 